It's Saturday, and I'm here on a Saturday. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to new makeup release! Saturday? <laughs> what? So if you guys want to see what all the new makeup releases are this week, what my thoughts are on them, and are we going to get them, well then definitely keep watching. Alrighty guys, so it's Saturday and I'm here on a Saturday. I know, I know. I completely threw you guys off. I threw myself off. And let me tell you the reason why I'm here on a Saturday and I didn't post yes and I didn't post yesterday was because my husband actually had off yesterday. Typically he works every Friday, but he had to switch with a coworker who needed help. So he's actually working today and I was gonna be all by myself. And I didn't want to do that. I don't want to be by myself, so I figured why not spend it yesterday with him and then just, you know, work today. So here we are. You guys get to have me on the weekends. Like, what? <laughs> also, um, I may or may not be here on Monday. The reason being, and I'm so upset about this, like, it just really just is upsetting. But I'm trying to let it upset me is that I cracked my back molar last night. I was eating frozen blueberries, and I bit into it, and I was like, mm this is extra hard and then i spit out and it was my tooth and i oh and i was like oh my god did i have a freak out oh i did i did so i actually have a dentist appointment early monday morning so i may or may not be here if i am here it's because i'm pre-filming it like i'm gonna film it tomorrow for monday but if i'm not here well you guys know why <laughs> my life i swear my life is just <sighs> if i drank man i would drink <laughs> if I was drinking, I would drink, but I'm not drinking because I'm doing 75 hard, so I just you know, can't have any alcohol. But if I did, <laughs> I wouldn't. Anywho, that's beside the point. We're going to go ahead and dive into our new makeup releases. As you guys know, I absolutely love doing this series. This is why I talk about all the new makeup releases that we saw this past week, and we're going to see whether or not they're worth it. So we're going to go ahead and dive straight on in. So up first, we have a new collection from Fantasy Cosmetica. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love Fantasy Cosmetica. Such a phenomenal brand, and they are launching a new collection. It is their fighter collection. So it's going to roll out with an eyeshadow palette and some perfume. Now, I already got this in PR. I was actually going to feature it in my Get Ready With Me, so you guys will see me using it then. But I will say it's an absolutely beautiful palette. It's more on the neutral side. Normally, Fantasy Cosmetica has done really colorful palettes. This is actually gearing more towards like a soft, cool tone neutral palette, which is kind of nice, a little bit different of the formula from a fantasy cosmetica and i'm so excited about their new launch it's actually launching on july 20th at 9 a.m pacific center time which actually be 12 p.m eastern standard time you guys can use my code which will save you guys 10 percent off your purchase when purchasing anything at fantasy cosmetica and i'm really excited to show this palette off for you guys it looks super pretty very much on the neutral side and it just it looks so nice i can't wait to show you i can't wait to show it off for you guys so i want to make sure i told you guys about it next it looks like kevin aquan is releasing a lightning light lightning am i saying that light lighting lighting not lightning lighting stick and it brightens and highlights the face with the creamy formula for a glass light glow luminous and sheer with the buildable coverage mirror like pigments that catch and reflect light and it retails for 53 dollars two things one that's way too expensive for my taste and two i honestly didn't know that kevin aquan still made makeup i've only tried one product from the brand and it's because i got a highlighter in a box might have been boxy charm could have been Ipsy. Could have been Chic Beauty Box. It could have also been Glossy Box. It could have also been um, Fab Fit Fun. I really don't know. I have unboxed so many makeup boxes throughout the years. And I remember there's a highlighter in there that came pretty shattered and it was really pretty. So I really didn't get to use it that much because like literally opening it, all the pieces just crumbled out. It was not a good time. So I don't really know the brand. I don't really know how well the formula is. I'm assuming it's a great formula. It's a really high-end brand. I know there's books that Kevin Aquan came out with about makeup techniques, but this is something I'm definitely going to pass on. Just doesn't excite me and I don't really care to spend the price point on it. Next, you know, I always forget that this brand is a brand and that it exists but Kylie Cosmetics is rolling out with a classic matte palette 
It's an all-in-one eye palette features 10 essential shades to create an everyday effortless look. It's available as of now. And honestly, that's such an easy pass for me. I know that Makeup by Mario did something very similar like two years ago where they did like their matte palettes of like neutral colors as well. And I didn't get that palette, you know, that I don't really find neutrals that exciting. Yes, I do enjoy playing with them time to time, but I'm not like the first one to be like, oh my God, I have to have it. You know what I mean? So this is a really easy pass for me. Um, I don't really shop Kylie Cosmetics for no particular reason. Just the brand is kind of boring doesn't excite me but I will say the one palette that I did try from them which was the Batman palette that came out with last year for Halloween that was actually a pretty legit palette I can't knock the brand for it that was a pretty legit palette great formula great shimmers had such had so much fun playing with it but it has to be something I really am excited about and I was excited about that palette this right here is just boring so it's an easy pass for me next it looks like Valentino is releasing their Licorioso I don't know if I'm saying that right. Two in one soft matte liquid lipstick and blush. There's gonna be 12 shades that retail for $40 a piece, and that is such an easy pass for me. I've never tried Valentino. Again, it's one of those brands that I find to be just a little bit pricey for my taste. <laughs> I wanna be bougie, I wanna be fancy, but my wallet and bank account have a different opinion in mind so i we we gotta stick to that budget than the budget that's in my head <laughs> you know what i mean so i've not tried this brand and this is one of those products that just doesn't really excite me to begin with so i definitely wouldn't even care if i miss out on it so that's a, that's another easy pass next it looks like nebula cosmetics is releasing a liberty x system mono eyeshadow it is introduced the newest smart conscious cute packaging completely recyclable and comes from sugarcane processing waste with 32 refillable eyeshadows. The invisible magnets on the back of the palette allow you to stack two palettes together and carry eight shades. It's available as of now. You know, it's a really cool concept. When I hear smart and conscious, I'm thinking, oh dear God, the makeup is coming to life. It's finally happened. <laughs> makeup has finally developed a self-conscious. Like, it's alive. It's alive. <laughs> like, that's what I think of. I know that's not what it is. I know it's not what it is. But, like, the weird part of me is, like, it's happening, y'all. It's happening. They're taking over. They're taking over. So, yeah, I'm going to pass on this. I really, do love the, I really do love the concept of it. I love that it's completely recyclable and that you guys can actually stack things and it's produced from sugar cane processing waste. I think it's very eco-friendly and I really do appreciate that about, about the brand. But I'm going to pass just because I, I don't know. I don't need it. Okay, so up next it says, say yes to the new addition to the HD Skin family. Say hello to the all-in-one under eye solution Makeup Forever HD Skin Concealer. It hydrates skin, plumps, blurs textures, and color corrects. It does retail for $29 and it's supposed to have a 24 hour wear. I don't really know how many, there's 20 shades in here and it's gonna be available in um, it's gonna be available as of July 20th and you know it's something I would definitely be interested in because I absolutely love my Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. This is completely empty but I saved the bottle to remind myself to go pick this up again whenever I go to Sephora. I really did enjoy this foundation. It's a beautiful beautiful foundation. I completely used it all up so that says a lot especially since I do review a lot of makeup here on my channel. It's hard for me to go through a lot of products and if I go through something like this it means I really do enjoy it. So if I really do enjoy the foundation I can only imagine what the concealer would be like so it's something i definitely want to pick up okay so up next it looks like patrick ta is releasing new shades to their major headlines double take cream and powder blushes the three new shades are she's wanted she's flushed and she's giving so she's wanted is a deep plum color she's flushed is a deep peachy pink and then she's vibrant or she's giving is a vibrant hot pink and you know i have to say i have not tried this particular formula from patrick ta where it's cream and powder i can only imagine it's fantastic because patrick ta has one of my favorite 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 blushes ever and it's the she's passionate blush i'm absolutely obsessed 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 with this blush and i don't think they really make this anymore i do have one more backup of this but it is such a phenomenal blush i use this almost on the daily it's what i'm wearing right now it's just a beautiful like peachy vibe blush it just works really well for my skin tone and it just really compliments me it lasts all day and i just really do love that blush i can only imagine what this particular formula would be like as well but i will say these shades Maybe the peach one would be something I'm interested in, but the rest I would just be like, ooh, it might be too deep for me. It might not be the color I like. But yeah, I definitely would get it if it's the right shade. So up next, I did kind of do a side eye. Side eye too, because She Glam just relaunched. She, she, she Glam is launching a Harry Potter collection. 
So it's gonna have all four houses with like potions and stuff like that. I'm not gonna lie, the packaging is really cute. It's a really cute collection. I won't take that away. But you guys know how I feel about Chic Glam. I will not shop Chic Glam because if you guys did not know, their parent company is Sheen and Sheen it's not a good company. Definitely do your research when shopping Sheen. You guys can see the behind the scenes of how they treat their workers. People who've gone undercover, show how the factory and the working conditions are. Just not a brand I really care to support. And uh, yeah, she, she Glam is part of that. It's their sister company or it's the company they own. And so this is a really easy pass for me for multiple reasons. But I just wanted to tell you guys about it because it is on here. It's a cute collection, but I'm definitely gonna pass on that. Speaking of really cute collections, Perfusion just launched their Jurassic Park collection. So it's gonna come with highlighters, cheeks, cheek and lip balms, lip plumpers, mirrors, liquid bronzers, setting spray, setting spray, stamps, eyeshadow palette, lashes, Jurassic Park visitor set with like a headband, glow in the dark gems, chrome liner, fanny pack, visitor pats, and two more sets. And I will say it's a really, really, really cute collection. Um, I, I grew up watching Jurassic Park. I mean, Jurassic Park was one of the first movies as a kid that my parents allowed me to watch that caused me to have night terrors. Um, I'll never forget seeing the, you know, T-Rex pulling down, spoiler alert, by the way, <laughs> pulling down like the electricity cord and then like come out and like scare the living shit out of those children that were getting smashed in the Jeep and then going to eat that person taking a shit in the toilet. That gave me nightmares as a child, okay? That gave me nightmares as a child. So living in Florida, obviously during the summer, we have a lot of thunderstorms. Well, a lot of thunderstorms would come at night, at least for me, because I went to bed pretty early as a kid and I would hear the thunder and I go, oh my God, it's T-Rex, <laughs> T-Rex. <laughs> It came to eat me. And so like I would be that child that put my cup of water on my like bedside table at my little nightstand to see if I could see the going like the water moving. Cause if I saw the water moving, that was it. It's a wrap, I'm done, I'm dead. Like I can't survive this. <laughs> so I always had like a little, I was always scared of Jurassic Park. No, I'm not as big of a fan of Jurassic Park in the Jurassic Park world and franchise as a lot of people out there are. I really do enjoy the series. I love the movies. I go to the, you know, theme parks for it, but like I'm not like such a diehard fan. So I really do think this is such a cute collection. I love the fact that the eyeshadow palette plays the music, but I could definitely imagine that it playing the music will only last so long before the battery runs out. And I've never really tried Perfusion makeup before, so I don't really know the quality of it. I feel like I would get this collection for more of a nostalgia thing than to like actually enjoy it. And I feel like later on down the line, this could be a collection that I would ultimately end up decluttering or putting it like a keepsake and not really using it as often. Because to me, this is one of those collections I would just wanna have just to cherish and love and hold than actually really use. Do you know what I mean? And like, I'm trying to get better about buying stuff just because of that purpose. Because the collector in me, the hoarder in me is like, oh my God, bitch, you freaking need it. You can put it up, you can put it on display. You love Jurassic Park. But then other parts of me is like, yeah, I use it one time for review. I use it one time. I use it one time for review, and then I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really use it again. I'd want to put it away, and and then what? You know what I mean? So, if I can find this collection in store, there's a very good chance I might pick it up. But that's just assuming that my Walmart has it. My Walmart is located in a very, very heavy touristy area, so the makeup collection there tends to be pretty lackluster because a lot of people steal and it gets really messy and it's just never really in stock. So if I could find it, that'd be great. I know Teresa posted on her stories this morning that she secured the bag. She got all the goodies, so I'm sure she's gonna do a review on it. If I could find it, I will, but if I don't, I'm not gonna be devastated about it either. You know what I mean? But it's a really cool idea. I really think it's a fun collection. Up next, it looks like Milk Cosmetics is releasing their Glazed Skin Sheer Finishing Powder. So this is an all natural, lightweight, buildable coverage, soft focus finish that blurs pores, fine lines and wrinkles, giving a radiant glow for more youthful, fresh looking skin. So there's six shades. It retails for $39 and this is such an easy pass for me. Milk Cosmetics has definitely become one of those brands that I used to really, really love. And now I can kind of give two shits about. Like I feel like their quality has gone down in terms of like their formula over the years. Their palettes used to be phenomenal and now I feel like their quality is just not there but their price point is still the same if not higher. I just don't get excited about this brand anymore. So this is something I'm gonna definitely pass on especially because like when anything says that it's radiant. Normally I don't like radiant setting powder. Although in here it says that it has mineral clay oil. It has mineral clay that helps to balance oil and moisture with jojoba oil and vitamin E. Honestly, anything that's radiant and oil, like I feel like they never go hand in hand. Using a radiant uh, finishing powder on me, I'm gonna get oily. 
I'm gonna get oily. No matter what it says, I'm gonna get oily. So this is definitely just an easy pass. So up next, MAC Cosmetics is releasing their Astral Shine Collection. This is gonna be just a ton of lipsticks. And this is a really easy pass for me just because you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of lipsticks. Even though know, there do look to be some glosses in here too. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I think there's like some drama going on online with MAC. And I'm seeing it like on TikTok where these bigger influencers are like reviewing their like butter bombs and like they're breaking apart so easily and so bigger creators are saying how shitty it is and then other creators are saying how great it is i'm seeing some like drama happening there <laughs> i don't really pay attention to it but it's popped up on my for you page with like nikki tutorials giving such shit of shit to it like you know nikki tutorials saying how bad it is and merit duxbury saying how amazing it is even though it's like clearly breaking off when she's putting on her lips very weird but uh yeah i just i'm gonna pass on this nothing against mac i just don't really need lipsticks but i thought that was really interesting to find out there's like drama there so up next we have another day another color pop and color pop is launching their new crush matte cream blush Okay, I got that right. Yes. <laughs> so it's going to be uh, eight shades available for $12 a piece. And they're just going to be their crushed matte cream blushes. So just cream blushes. If you guys want to pick them up, I'm going to pass on this. I don't really need any more cream blushes. I'm slowly getting into cream blushes, but it's just going to take me a minute. I have to kind of work my way. I'm going to use what I have already in my collection before I go and buy more. But these are really pretty colors. I think they're super affordable and I really just really do love ColourPop. So yeah. So up next, which I'm actually really excited about, but Britney Spears is launching a new perfume. It's the Perfume Jungle Fantasies. It says this is a floral green gourmand fragrance that will make you embrace the wild part in you, just like Britney always has been throughout her career. The bottle is colored in green gradient to further highlight the jungle and wild, the wild, the wilderness motif with glistening pink gems, a green marble like cap with sparkling pink wrapper around it. Um, so the water, so the scents are watermelon blossom, violet leaf, and yuzu. Then there's the gusava flower, water lily, and gardena. And then the Tonka B Absolute and Cupcake Accord. So it's coming to retailers soon. And I'm going to hundred percent buy this because I, God, I remember when Britney Spears released that curious perfume. Oh my God. We all had to have it. Like, such a gorgeous gorgeous perfume i still love the smell to this day whenever i smell it so i'm definitely going to pick this up it's really nice to see britney releasing a, um, a perfume again i hope it all goes to her you know there's a lot of drama that surrounds britney in terms of free britney movement and i just my heart just goes out to her because i grew up watching britney like i literally grew up watching britney she was my idol as a child so i just want her to be okay and so i hope this is all her doing and nobody else but yeah, I will 100% buy this. Oh, I will buy this. Alrighty, so up next, it looks like Fenty is releasing a new shade for their Fenty Icon Velvet Lip. It's their Pink Limousine Vivid, their Pink Limousine Vivid Hot Pink. It retails for $29. And I'm gonna pass on this because this will look absolutely horrible on me. I do not do bright pinks in the slightest. Like, I just think bright pinks just don't flatter me at all. I can't stand how they make my teeth look or how they look on my skin complexion, like, or my skin tone. It's just, it's just me and hot pink do not go <laughs> together. <laughs> so that's an easy pass. Up next, it looks like Hourglass Cosmetics is releasing some more shades for their Veal Translu their Translucent Setting Powder. Um, it's an ultra-refined, talc-free loose powder that's designed to give a skin a naturally flawless finish. Retails for $36. And the two shades they're releasing is the Translucent Deep and Translucent Medium. My question to them is why was this not released with the original launch? Why was it not released with the original launch? Why wait? I hate when brands do deep skin tones as an afterthought. Like if you're not gonna all come out with it at one time, why release it? The best brand that's ever come out with like everything at one time is Fenty Beauty. It's why they stand out so much. But like you really make people with deep skin tone be an afterthought. So now you're gonna roll out with it? No, screw that. That's such an easy pass. No. Up next, it looks like the new Givenchy just, um, it looks like Sephora just got the new Givenchy setting powders. It's the Prism Libre Loose Powder Blush 24 hour radiance. And there's gonna be uh, 12 hours of radiance for an instant pop of color. They're $43 each. And looks like they're finally inside Sephora. I guess these have been released for like a minute. So if you guys wanna pick your hands on up, I definitely recommend you guys do so. I've never tried anything from Givenchy, so I can't attest to like the quality or the brand. Do I want to? Oh my gosh, yes. I wanna try them one time, but I'm gonna pass on this. But I do like the fact that like, you get four blushes in one for 43. That's actually not a bad price. It really is not a bad price. Okay, so up next, I actually think this is really freaking cool that House Labs is doing this, but they're releasing 
getting for the first time ever the discovery set try before you buy kit making it easy for us to shop our favorite foundation online having trouble finding your perfect foundation shade don't worry they came out with this amazing kit allowing allowing consumers to find their perfect match and experience the magic of the award-winning trial clone skin tech foundation how the discovery set works you choose your set you pay for the shipping cost only which is $5.95 each set includes three deluxe samples within each of the six color families in a shade tool finder you have a 21 day trial period for the order date to test the samples and get a full size of foundation using the qr code that comes in the set if you purchase your full size foundation within the 21 days you won't be charged for the discovery set if you let the 21 days pass you'll be charged 12 dollars plus tax at the end of your trial period which still really isn't bad at all i think it's really cool that this brand is allowing people to do this because one sometimes I feel like it's so hard to find foundation shades online because obviously you're not in person you can't really see does this match me does not how's the undertone does it oxidize and allowing people to literally only pay for shipping of $5.95 and then trying it out for 21 days and if you don't end up paying for it you only pay $12 which still is not a bad deal in the slightest but then if you like it you can go find the perfect shade for you I think it's a really cool concept I really hope that more brands actually implement this because for me like I would want to try certain foundations that I would never really want to spend the money on like that make it by Mario foundation that everybody raved about last year. I personally didn't pick it up because it's not meant for oily skin, but everybody loved it. It would have been great for me to try a sample of it to really see maybe, maybe it would have worked for me. I don't know, but I didn't want to spend like $60 to find out that it didn't, but I would rather spend $5 or $12 at most to find that, 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 that it didn't. So I think this is a really cool concept that House Labs is doing. And I might actually try this out because I never tried that foundation. Cause again, I heard it wasn't for my skin type, but now I kind of want to try this. That's actually really cool. Hey, Editor Allie here. So I'm in the middle of editing my new makeup releases and I'm late on posting this video because uh, some, some stuff have happened and um, I will talk about that at a later date, um, why I'm kind of late posting this video. But um, I was in the middle of editing when Glamlight announced what their newest collection. If you guys did not know, Glamlight announced yesterday that they were gonna have a massive like announcement today and they just announced it and they are doing a screen collection and there is no release date. It just says coming this fall. And that to me, I'm kind of like, phew, like I am so excited for Scream. I'm so excited for the horror season to start because Glamma said that they're bringing it to us this year with the horror content, which I'm so excited about. However, when they made their announcement yesterday that they were going to have a massive announcement today, I was like, oh my God, no, like don't have a collection already launching. Like you guys just launched something last week. Don't be that brand, but they are not releasing it anytime soon. It just says coming in the fall of 2023. So I'm just like, phew, they were gonna give us like, like a month or two before they release it. I don't know, but they are releasing a Scream collection and I am so excited. If you guys wanna go see the trailer for it, the little teaser, head on over to Glam Lights Instagram, but I wanted to pop in here and tell you guys about it because I was just like, oh my gosh, Scream, horror content's right around the corner. I mean, like my fall decorations go up in two weeks. So <laughs> Halloween season's almost here, baby. That is everything that we have for our new makeup releases this week. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are below. Do you think brands are coming out with too much too fast? Do you think people need to slow down? Were you excited about anything this week? Were you just like, eh, nothing's exciting about this week? Let me know in the comments below. But that is it for today's video. I'm so glad I was able to surprise you guys on a Saturday. Like I said, I'll let you know whether or not I'll be here on Monday. You'll just have to find out with me. <laughs> if you guys see a pre film video, if you get ready with me, then you'll know that that that's what I did or maybe I'll be able to film on Monday I'll, I'll let you guys know but either way if you guys like this video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post four to five videos every single week make sure you guys head over to my other channels are for the life you guys get to see my cool wonderful ventures my amazing husband Corey and as always the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful wonderful patron members you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here with you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video bye so this is actually going to be launching on july 20th at 9 p.m pacific but it's way too expensive for my price point okay so up next it says that there's new shades that are that this is a lore this is a floral green gourmand fra fra this is a floral green gourmand fragrance that will have you embraced the wild part of you just like britney has always been throughout her career the bottle is and then each set includes three deluxe samples with each of the six fam which within 
Each set includes three deluxe samples within each of the sets. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. So 